Welcome to Exchange Server Administration, How Transport Rules Work. The transport rules are stored in ADDS so that all the Exchange Server have access to them. And any transport rule you create are applied automatically by all server running Exchange Server. And you are guaranteed that transport rule are applied to every messages because all messages are processed by the transport service. And they are ordered by the priority. Configuring the transport rules. Transport rules have three components that is condition, action and exception. Condition specify which message attributes are used to identify the message to act upon. And action specified what is to be done to the selected messages. And exception specifies message attribute that define messages that are not acted upon. Data loss prevention policies. Data loss prevention policies are mechanism to prevent sensitive or business critical information from leaking outside of your organization via email. And you can use template provided by the Microsoft and you can use the policy files from a non Microsoft vendor as well. And you can create a custom policy as well. So let's move on to the server and see how we can configure transport rules and data loss prevention policies. So right now we are on our exchange server. Let's go to the exchange admin center and in order to configure the transport rule, we have to go to the mail flow and here you can see the rules. So if you want to create a new rule, you can just click on this plus sign and click on this create a new rule. And let's give the name for this rule is testing and apply this rule. If for example, the subject or body includes, you can apply the condition this is a condition that which word or phrase you want to block. For example, I say password, credit card info and we click on OK. And this is the action. Do the following like what we want to do. If you want to forward the message for approval or redirect the message to particular person or delete the message without notifying or reject the message with explanation. So let me select this option. Reject the message with the specification. You are not authorized to send this mail. This is the specification that you are not authorized to send this email. So click on OK. Severity level, we will keep it as a medium or you can keep it as a high as well. And more option. If you want to add an exception, you can add an exception for particular users. Like if I say add exception, if the sender is this person. So you can select that. Uh, right now we are not applying the exceptions, but you can put that. And we will say enforce the rule and we'll click on save. So now we have set the rule here. You can see the priority is 0 and 1. For the disclaimer, the priority is 0, and the, for the testing, the priority is 1. If you want to give it more priority, we can make it 0. If we can, we can just edit it and we can put here the priority is 0. And if I click on save here, so you can see that now the testing has a priority 0 and the disclaimer has the priority 1. Let's try to test the email with those specific words. Let me sign in with the Vikas account and let's try to send an email to a Jack. Let me try to send it and let's see if it goes through or not. Here you can see we get the message delivery has failed to these recipient or group and you can see the specified text. You are not authorized to send this email. In order to configure the DLP, we will go to the compliance management and here you can see the data loss prevention. If you want to notify the user about the policy matches, you can configure the policy tips as well. And if you can see, I have already done that. You can just click on add. So I have selected the notify the sender. The local is English and here the text and save it. Let me try to create a new data loss prevention policy. Here you can see we have a three option. DLP policy from template, from custom templates or new custom DLP policy. Let's choose the new custom DLP policy and let me type the name as IT compliance and we will choose the state enabled and we will enforce the policy or you can also use the option like test DLP policy with policy tips. So if you want to use the feature, you should have the enterprise client access license with you. So let me enforce it and click on save. Now the DLP has been created and if I go and edit it, you can see here there are rules. We have to apply the rules. So right now no rule have been configured. Let me create block message with sensitive information. 
apply this rule if the recipient is located let me select the inside the organization and we'll click on ok message contain of these sensitive information and you can select the sensitive information type so let's try to define the sensitive type of information that is our IP address this is a credit card number so we can click on add and we'll click on ok you can see that we have added the IP address and the credit card number and do the following like we have applied the condition and now do the following I say generate incident report and send it to administrator let me select administrator and the custom content will be sender recipient subject and matching content and click on ok and also notify the sender with the policy tips or the block the message by saying you are not authorized to send this info and let's click on ok we will enforce the policy and we'll click on save now the rule has been saved you can read the information of the rule here click on save and if we go to the mail flow and we see the rule here so you can see the DLP policy the rule is there now the send to scope inside the organization and if I go and edit it you can see here is the priority is 2 let me make it 0 and you can see the add to DLP policy that is IT compliance DLP policy has been applied so click on save you can see the priority is 0 now so let's try to send an email with the content IP address I will compose a new mail to a jack and I will type the email as IP address 192.168.2.40 let me try to send this email you can see we have a message here delivery has failed to these recipient or groups you are not authorized to send this info and you will also get the diagnostic information this way you can protect your important information so that it may not leak to outside or inside your organization. I hope you got it. So let's meet in the next video.